Industrial action was something that uh, shocked the economy and two sectors were hardest hit, uh, mining obviously, and given the close and integrated relationship between mining and manufacturing, uh, many of the manufacturers were affected and the effect has not yet walked its way through. It will continue. Of course, South Africa's credit rating was downgraded, uh, first time since 1994, uh, and that has impact on all sectors. Anybody who wants to borrow money and invest, anybody who wants to take medium to long-term investment positions will be affected, has been affected by the downgrade. Uh, generally, the outlook on manufacturing remains fairly bleak. The effect of strikes definitely is going to be negative. There's no question about it. And the longer this lingers on, the more it will have compounded negative effect. The sooner we resolve it in one way or another, the sooner we will be able to arrest the negative effects that will have not on the short-term economy, but on the expectations of what the country offers in terms of investment opportunities. And of course, the decline in the investment uh, in, in the mining sector, we see some of the mines actually uh, putting on ice, uh, closing some of their investment opportunities, uh, talking of laying off workers, um, and so on and so forth. All of that does not augur well for manufacturing. We have made the point again and again that there is a very strong linkage between manufacturing and uh, mining. When mines open up, they need all kinds of inputs that comes from primarily manufacturing sector, be it explosive, be it steel, be it whatever it is, uh, be it fans and belts and cables, all of it means manufacturing. Um, so the, the relationship between manufacturing and mining in South Africa particularly is very, very significant. Um, there is often technically there is a lag between what happens in the mining sector and what happens down the line in the manufacturing sector. The mines may invest today and make an announcement and start preparing. The orders for some of them will come six to nine months down the line. And vice versa, when they decide to contract, the impact sort of works its way back in terms of negative domino effect, if you prefer. So obviously we are concerned that what is happening in the mining sector by way of uh, negative investment prospects will have adverse effect on the prospects in manufacturing. We believe that um, strikes in the transport and mining sector um, in the third quarter were, were obviously detrimental to the conditions. Uh, manufacturing at the moment um, is facing a very vulnerable and what we call it, or in jargon is called a soft condition. On packet, it means that the prospects are vulnerable. Um, and the CAHISO PMI corroborates that. It's important to, to heed that indicator. In terms of the next two years, the survey suggests that uh, most of the participants see a stable conditions and structural bottlenecks remain real up uh, obstacles for our manufacturing expansion and um, robustness in terms of competitiveness. And finally, um, we need to have a credible skills turnaround. Why we believe it should be credible? Because unless we have a credible skills turnaround today, those who consider putting manufacturing operations in South Africa, they're going to be going somewhere else.